this is quite badly damaged with me heating it and hammering it off but that is a 9mm transfer punch and that is just about a perfect fit in there so a 9mm milling cutter going straight across will do the job I haven't got a 9mm milling cutter so I think what I'll do is use an 8mm cutter and then either file it or tweak it to get it to fit an 8mm cutter straight across there straight across there there's four we'll have to work out where the cutter starts but that shouldn't be too difficult to do and get a measurement from the center of there to the center of there i'm going to put the dividing head on the milling machine and we'll use that to cut the four the four flats really was all damaged like that when I got it that wasn't I'm not guilty of doing that that should go in there quite nicely and the truck key to fit it the first thing I need to do is pick up the center of this into the length of the centre of the machine and for that I can use the little piece I made as a test piece to, piece to bore the hole and get that in the, into the chuck there's another way of doing it you could use a, an indicator there's several ways of doing it but this is a simple way that's going to work Chuck's not big enough. Alright, so that isn't going to work. But what I can do, because I'm finished with this, I can turn that end down so it does fit in there. That's the, that was the, the good fit. And that was the somewhere near fit. So I can turn down the somewhere in the outfit until it's right. We'll quickly turn that down the layer so it fits into the chuck. Put a clock on. 
and see how true it's running. The chuck is pretty good. So and a half. Not much in it, a couple of thou. This is worse at the end. Now what I can do to get this perfect, apart from using the four jaw chuck, this chuck is not a, not a tight fit on the back plate. I've made it purposely so it can be adjusted. Some people say it's the wrong way to do things. Some people say it's right. It works for me. I could put the collar chuck on and that would be probably dead on but I'm going to adjust this just for badness I'll bring the camera in so you can see the actual clock right hopefully you can see that there so all you do is turn it round until you find the high point which is there gently right that's within take a fanny's hair and that's quarter of a thousand so that's absolutely spot on tighten the chuck back up Right, and that's absolutely dead on. Maybe it's not tool room practice, but it certainly works for me. In a tool room, you wouldn't be using a, a three jaw chuck. I know people will complain, but that's the way I do it. I've done it for years, and it works for me. Right, so that's in there. I'm going to run it up just to make sure that looks like it's running through. That's better. Right, so that's running through and it's always making no difference. Now all we need to do is adjust the axis until that drops down through the hole like that that's absolutely the dog's bollocks right so that's absolutely beautiful in there I can lock the table off at that in fact I don't want to lock the table off because I'm going to be moving things around so now we know the centre of the machine is in the centre of there we need to work out how much we need to offset it to machine the the flat flat across there then turn it 90 degrees same again same again right so we need another distance between that center hole and the center of the milling cutter so if we measure that size of that hole we know that's a nine mil pin so we can half that first of all if we measure the size of that hole which is 17.75 and the pin is 9 half that is 4.5 so it's 17.75 plus 4.5 which equals 22.25 mil so I offset, offset this 22.25 that's going to put the centre of there exactly where I want that to start Right, so it's all zeroed off 
we want 17.25 Take it up and then back in. 17 point. Seventeen point two five. So I'll lock the axis of the table off at that. I change this for a coloured chuck, put an eight mil, cut her in and see how it's how it's looking. But hopefully it's gonna work out good. Right, bring the table up and see how it looks. Right, it doesn't look right because I used the full size of the hole, I should have halved the size of the hole, so it's 17.5 halved plus half the, the 9, so we'll do the maths again and find it at the right place. 14.25 is what I want. We'll go back to zero. And we'll come out to 14.25. I may do it on this face and it'll be easier to see, easier to film. I'm about to zero and then 14.25. Which is there. That looks better. Table locked off. That's definitely better. It's, uh, that looks, looks pretty good. And the depth is just until it kicks that shoulder down there, which is whatever it was, 16 mil I think it was. That looks pretty good. Yeah, we'll proceed to do that, turn it round and keep on going. Now down to full depth and I put that half mil extra cut on so hopefully once that's done that bar should drop in a nice slack fit or a nice tightish fit which just won't quite go in there so hopefully this is going to be the last few cuts
put a snap ring on there instead of the surf tip so now the, the fork will actually fit either side of it right it's a nice fit on there very nice very happy with that Right, and that goes in there like that. That's it all the way home. When the weights fly out, they push that out and that operates a linkage which controls the amount of steam it gets into the engine. So the engine is always set on full throttle and the governor operates the throttle to make sure it doesn't over speed. That's really nice that, I like it. There's a spring and a couple of check nuts go on there. So I'll put them on now. This is the original spring. It certainly didn't look like that when we initially took this apart. Obviously these nuts are adjusted up to give them the amount of preload that you need on the on the governor to get the RPM you need it. And there's a real a real spanner for you, made in England, snail brand, five eighths half inch Whitworth. Quite on a preload on there. But it does it does move, I'm gonna back it off. Just so I've got enough of it. The two nuts to lock each other. There is a little end cap that goes on here. So you can set it up. I like it, I really like that. 